Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are reacting to the Apple event. Yes, the Unleashed event has just finished now and I want to react to some things. It's literally just finished. I just turned the camera on, sat down and I've got some things to say about it. The Unleashed event is basically the MacBook Pro event. That's like the flagship. That's what everyone's talking about. 2016 was the last time the MacBook Pro got updated. We had like the touch bar. They took away all the ports. We had four Thunderbolt ports and it was dongle central. That was the beginning of everything dongle. Fast forward five years and we now get a new redesigned MacBook Pro with both 14 inches and 16 inches in screen size. There also is a notch, which was surprising to me. The notch to me doesn't seem to be a bad thing. I actually don't mind the design language. What they've done is basically make the menu bar a bit thicker. And then when you're like in pro apps and stuff, that bar goes black, so you don't see it at all. When you're in normal mode though, like obviously you do see like the, the file and all that, like the menu bar on the left-hand side. And then on the right, you get like all your like shortcuts and stuff and, and control center, etc. all that's at the top right. It is a redesign. We do get three Thunderbolt ports as well as a MagSafe port to charge, but you can also charge on the Thunderbolt ports as well. And and we also get a HDMI as well as an SD card on the right hand side. Now, I love the SD card idea. I think that's great. For me, the HDMI is a bit of a weird one, especially now with a lot of it, it's just like casting for AirPlay. Um, I understand if you're not in that type of environment and you want to plug into a screen at a desk, etc. I get that. But for me, I'd rather them have just left a Thunderbolt port there rather than put the HDMI. But that's just me. They also announced with the Max new chips. So we get an M1 Pro as well as an M1 Max. Straight away, I much prefer the branding of this. There was rumors that it was gonna be like M1X, M1Z. And I hated that because like, if I was gonna explain that to like my, like my brother who's not really into technology, he would know that the M1 Pro is for professionals, but then he would also know the M1 Max is the maximum potential. So that it's very clear from a consumer's point of view who's not into computers that they would know which one is the best. M1X and M1Z was very like, well, which is the best? You, you wouldn't know. So I'm happy with our branding and I'm also fingers crossed hoping that we do get M1 Pro probably on the iMac which is the, the one I want to get eventually. That's what I'm waiting for, I'm holding out for. And from a Mac point of view that is all we saw in the event. Mac Mini was rumoured but that wasn't there and you know I kind of thought it would be uh, but obviously it's not ready. And as I say iMac Pro or iMac like the bigger one we didn't get that. I thought maybe we'd get some sort of like sneak peek but I guess the chip now is very much this is what it is. M1 Pro, M1 Max. We're going to be getting those chips probably in the Mac Mini as well as in the new iMac and obviously the Mac Pro may get something better than Max or whatever. So that's all the Macs we had in the event. They did announce AirPods 3, which comes with a MagSafe charging case. They actually knocked the price down as well to $169. So that's amazing. And um, we do get the design that everyone thought we was gonna get. It's obviously got no silicon tips. It's basically the, the cheaper AirPods, but just redesigned and uh, updated. So I'm happy to have them. I can't wait to have them next week. I've been without my AirPods since WWDC, so June. So very, very happy and looking forward to getting them real soon. We also had an update to the HomePod Mini, which was new colors. So they, instead of having the normal black and white, we also get blue, orange, and yellow at the same price, but they're not coming out till November. I thought this was a nice move, you know, something different. Um, it's not personally gonna be for me. I'm not gonna buy like, you know, a yellow one to have in the room or a blue one, but I can see people, you know, it's nice to have choice and Apple's doing this thing with colors and yeah. We also got some Apple Music updates, which they started with music, but it was very much like Zane Lowe came on the stage, which is nice because we never really see him on the, on the I guess not on the stage, but you know, I mean on the video. And he announced some things with Siri, so we get actual like good Siri features. So you can ask Siri things like play music that's good in the shower, play music that's good to sing to, play music that's good for a dinner party, all those type of things. And it'll play like playlists that are like created by like humans and employees of Apple that have created these playlists for those different scenarios. And they had loads on the screen, so I'm excited to hear them and, uh, and see them. Because I actually do that quite a lot, like play music from movies. Like I like listening to that type of stuff. It doesn't do it that well. Well, it tries to, but it doesn't do it that well. So I'm hoping that works really well. And speaking of Siri and Apple Music, they did announce an Apple Music Siri only plan, which is $4.99 a month instead of the $9.99, but you only use Siri. People are giving this a lot of slate online, and I understand, but this is Apple's idea of this is you buy a HomePod mini, then you just pay five bucks a month to have music on it. That's basically it. You, have, you, know, you may not even be an iPhone customer. Um, so you have a HomePod mini, and you basically have just five pounds a month to then play music, basically. What it is. So I think it's quite a good move to be honest with you. They're trying to get more people to have Apple Music, but then maybe they don't have a phone or 
whatever. It's also, I think, points in the right direction of like the watch becoming independent, in my opinion, because I believe that eventually the watch could be an independent only device. And I think this type of plan is like well and truly in place for that. So you could literally just use your AirPods to talk to Siri and play music. I think it's a good move. The event itself, though, I thought was good. It was very short. I did think we may see, like I said, like, you know, coming soon, coming next year. But like the chips have kind of announced like all of next year's like pro chips now. They're very much done. Maybe we'll get one for the Mac Pro. I'm not too sure if like the M1 Max is equivalent of what's in the Mac Pro. I don't think it is, but maybe. But we very much got what was needed and what was rumored for the end of the year. Mac Mini was borderline ready. Um, iMac is obviously, there's nothing coming out of iMac, but that's probably gonna happen soon. They've gone with this notch design, so I'm personally hoping for my iMac Pro, they're gonna go with like the edge to edge with a notch. I don't think they will, but I hope they do, uh, because that would be a much better design, looking design to me than the current M1 iMac is. So there's a lot of stuff happening there. I have ordered myself the new AirPods, so I'm gonna be unboxing them on the channel, but I've also ordered the baseline 16 inch M1 Pro MacBook Pro. That makes sense. That's really, it's a lot to say. M1 Pro MacBook Pro. Anyway, I've ordered the baseline 16 inch MacBook Pro. I'm excited to check it out for the channel and do a video on it and unbox it on the channel. So stay tuned for that. It's coming next week. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more. Subscribe if you're new. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.